Ghost in the Shell is the new adaptation of the anime uh, slash manga, and uh, it's widely acclaimed, the manga slash anime, uh, and I enjoy it myself, I don't love it, I don't know everything about it, I'm not like a huge super nerd or anything about it, oh, I mean I am super nerd, but like, <laughs> not about Ghost in the Shell really, but I do enjoy them, and this is the tale of the Major once again, uh, but this time, the Major... Uh, yes, yeah, has been put into this, uh, this shell, this completely like robotic body. This has never been done before. She's the first of her kind to like be all cyborg, even though everyone has like cybernetic or cybernetic like, aug or has been cy cybernetically augmented on. There we go. I can say words. No editing here, boy. But yeah, um, so yeah, they've all been cybernetically augmented on in some way, or at least most of them have. Some are still human, but. Yeah, uh, but she's full robot. Uh, it took a while to explain there. But uh, she has to basically uncover her past after she finds out everything she knows is a lie. It's a pretty basic story this time around. I did enjoy the movie, though. I liked the movie a lot, actually. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought the story was basic, predictable, a little cliche, kind of average. But it worked. I was intrigued enough. I think it goes by at a good pace. It doesn't overstay its welcome. It's like an hour and 45 minutes. It's perfectly paced. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's great in this movie. Uh, I think she gives one of her better performance of recent years. Probably since her, I think. Probably my favorite performance for her since her. Yeah, probably. Uh, but yeah. Uh, she's great in the movie. Uh, the guy who plays Bato. Uh, I really like Bato. Bato is like my favorite character from the other ones. And I like that he still has, like, a, uh, a thing for dogs. Like, he still likes animals. He still loves dogs. Uh, I like that. Uh, there are definitely callbacks. But this is pretty much its own original story with the same characters and designs. The world looks like a Blade Runner world, but the visuals are amazing. If you watch my trailer reaction video, you would know that I was gushing over how good this movie looked. This movie is gorgeous. It's eye candy. It's amazing looking. Like... The cinematography is beautiful. The action is beautiful, once again. I guess that's a good way to describe it. The editing's great. You could see everything that's going on in the action. It's not like... The, it is PG-13 action, but it's not like... Really noticeable PG-13 action. They don't like cut away from like blood splatters. Because a lot of the action in this movie is with cyborgs. So there's not a lot of blood. It's just a lot of metal flying everywhere. It made sense for the universe. I thought the PG-13 rating worked pretty well. Uh, I didn't really have a problem with it. Uh, as I said, Scarlett Johansson works really good in the movie. Uh, a lot of her body, I think, is CG, or I think it might be makeup. I don't know, but it looks really cool. Uh, the Blade Runner city, I obviously, like, the, that's what I gotta call it, the Blade Runner city, uh, city. But whatever, it looks great. Everything looks beautiful. The cyborgs look awesome. Like, there's a lot of crap that looks really cool in this movie. The visual effects are Oscar worthy, truly. Uh, there's a new character added in this movie. It's supposed to be kind of like the puppet master. Uh, but, I mean, like, he, he works in an interesting way in this movie, not gonna spoil it. I liked his role. Uh, overall, I think this is a very solid, uh, Ghost in the Shell adaptation. Ah, it has a couple problems. The story's a little weak. Like, I can kind of see where it was going at times. It was like, I pieced everything together about, uh, eh, when we get right, get, getting right into the third act, I was starting to piece everything together, I was like, oh, okay, this is this, and that's happening there, and... All that, and, um, the villain is probably the worst villain I've seen in the movie all year. As far as, like, um, not doing anything. Like, he left no impression. I barely remember anything. I don't even remember the guy's name. He's an awful villain. I hated the villain in this movie. I mean, it has a generic motivation, but, like, that's really it. Uh, yeah, this movie has some problems. The storytelling could have been a little better. It could have been a little tighter in terms of the story. Uh, the villain, yeah, as I said, sucks. Um, but overall, I think it's a very faithful, uh, no, well, somewhat faithful, I should say. Ghost in the Shell adaptation. It definitely takes its own uh, twists and turns, which I actually liked. And I'm going give to it, give it a B. Um, sorry, I'm stuttering over my words right now, man. Anyway, um, that's where we're here for Ghost in the Shell. I like this movie. That, that's really all there is to it. I liked the movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, the action's very good. So, yeah, that's my review for the, ghost in the, the new Ghost in the Shell movie. So, peace.